Let it be peace. Let it be love. Let it be simple happiness. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Satsang. Добро пожаловать на сердцем. Oh, lovely, you all came. Замечательно, что вы все пришли. Добро пожаловать. Let me first sing to you the Gayatri. Сначала я спою вам Gayatri. Oh, oh, oh. 
you came here for mukti. Liberation. You came to Tiruvan Malai. To sacred Arunachala. For liberation. I'm in a moment residing with some devotees on the other side of the hill in Adi Anamalai. С некоторыми преданными нахожусь в Адианамалае, это на другой стороне, стороне горы. Там гораздо тише. И это появилась возможность приехать сюда, к вам, чтобы подтвердить то, Liberation is possible in this lifetime. This year, today, now, liberation means Освобождение означает to end the wrong belief, прекратить ложное верование, to end the disbelief, прекратить не верить. I am the body. I am this person. Верить, не верить в то, что я есть тело. Прекратить верить в то, извините, что я есть тело, я есть эта личность. To stop, to hold. И перестать держаться. For one instant. За это на одно мгновение. And to look, to inquire. Исследовать. And realize that which always has been you already, and which was underlying all your experience in this lifetime. Underlying any event. Underlying sorrow and joy. This now, which is here and which is untouched by any story, by any notion, perception, which is you.
Any questions? Есть вопросы? Welcome. Пожалуйста. Yes, please. Welcome, coming from. Speak in the microphone. And everybody can hear you. Namaste. So, uh, so it's working. It's working. So uh, we have uh, the way the direct path that came from Ramana and the way before of abundance in the eye in the gateway to the self. And uh, with this, uh, there's also the Shakti aspect, some call Kundalini or the beliefs that comes during this, uh, sometimes this abundance or energy, it's, it's in forms, in different forms. So what's, what would be your approach uh, for this aspect of Shakti in, in, the, in the process? Есть Рамана Махарша, который утвердился в истинном Я, и есть также Шакти в различных формах. Это энергия Кундалини, которая говорится в вашем теле. Rises, this energy does not ask you what approach do you have. What do you think about me? Do you like to have me more strong or less strong? If it rises, it overwhelms you. It transcends your body and many states of perfect perception. But it is not a requirement for that which I pointed in the beginning. It's not a requirement for moksha, for liberation, for you to have a kundalini rising or kundalini awakening. You might have had in former lives. Может быть, вы имели такие опыты в прошлой жизни. Now, in this lifetime, а в этой жизни you have enough from all kind of spiritual practice and you approach the direct possibility to awaken. Уже, наверное, хватит практиковать всякие духовные практики, применять и использовать прямой путь для пробуждения. Therefore, you are attracted to Ramana, as you speak, or Others come for other reasons here to Tiruvan Malay. Or party on the rooftops, or finding a partner, or whatever. But also they are blessed and но они тоже получают благословение. И тоже имеют этот шанс. Получают его. about Kundalini is very promising. Very promising. <coughs> Why? Because it is described as super orgasm. United with your sexual force. So sounds very exciting. And people like to have this experience. 
Но очень волнительные, все хотят получить такой опыт. Force it. Но вы не можете Многие из, из практикующих кундалини они не получают такого опыта. А некоторые здесь присутствующие, которые никогда это не делали, получают Бхагаван никогда не говорил о кундалине. Потому что он видел в этой области And he speaks about it points to something very, very ordinary. Which is always in you. And therefore available. Just our conceptual cloud. Просто облака наших концепций have to evaporate они должны испариться in centuries or by this inner sun which is called self-inquiry в лучах внутреннего солнца которое называется самоисследование somehow you use the mind which is the seed who steals your peace and focus this mind on its source Таким образом, вы используете тот самый ум, который ворует ваш покой, и заставляете его сфокусироваться, сосредоточиться на том, что есть внутри. И тогда то, что прибежит вот этому вашему восприятию, оно все устраняет, Притягивает вас, и вот вы есть так. Понятно? Yes, just to clarify. Да, ну чтобы прояснить. What's, what lies beyond or under the high perception is the pure being. Yes. Что pure остается? It's so pure that it cannot be perceived. It's so pure, it's so clear that it cannot be seen. And in this clarity also the perceiver disappears. So in this tradition where I come from, where I'm born, born in this time, and also where you born, I suppose you're from Israel, isn't it? Israel, is it? Israel, is it? There, there's no tradition, there's no knowledge about this. There's no knowledge about instant моментальной реализации пробуждения. Now culture, there's the concept of separation. Наоборот, в наших культурах есть концепция об отделенности. For higher beings called God, отделенности от высшего существа, которое мы называем Богом. Unworthy, but through certain behavior, we can make God happy. Это концепция о том, что мы не совершенны. Но через определенные действия и поступки 
the point to your rich which is divine. And human at the same time. Здесь получается, что вы, будучи человеком, одновременно можете достичь божественного. Yes, please. Мастер, правильно ли я понимаю, что как пар превращается в воду, 
не может стать льдом, ледными глыбами, замками из льда. Пар пар может стать водой, которая может стать. Я вижу это И потом, когда пар может стать водой, сконденсироваться и стать водой, а вода может стать льдом, который может превратиться в бесконечные ледяные замки, которые могут обратно растопиться внутренним солнцем стать опять водой и паром. То есть смысл нашего самоисследования заключается в том, чтобы мы растождествились с этими бесконечными ледяными замками, в которых мы живем, и вернуться к себе бесформенному, к тому пару, который, собственно, не ощутим. Они тают, это факт. Likewise, all concepts also melt away. Роли, тело, отношение к телу, роли, концепции. I don't get the question. Я не понимаю вопроса. Сможем ли мы одномоментно, то есть насколько должна быть внутреннее усилие, чтобы вот эта отождествленность, с которой мы себя отождествляли много лет, много жизней, в один момент, чтобы это растаяло, мы вернулись к себе уже освобожденными и больше могли не воплощаться в эти ледяные замки. Можно ли сделать это одномоментно или понадобится How big should be the efforts uh, to get back to ourselves? Is it possible? Effortless and permanent. Постоянное безусилие, безусильность. Is it possible to uh, lose identification immediately, or does it need some time? As I told, как я уже сказал, I said very clear in the beginning, it is possible in this lifetime, this year, today, now, в этом году, сегодня и сейчас. Будем таять. According to your rightness, there might be a gradual от степени вашего, вашей зрелости процесс. Возможно, нужен процесс. The mango, which is ripe, falls from the tree. Манго, когда созревает его плод, оно просто падает с дерева. And unripe mango needs some time to ripen. Если манго не зрелая, ему нужно еще какое-то время, чтобы созреть, дозреть. If you relax, stop everything, you 
desire. I don't want to be this. I want to be that. Все ваши желания такие, как я не хочу быть этим, я хочу быть тем. Then immediately you can taste the sweetness. Тогда немедленно вы встретитесь с этой сладостью. Which is your immanent nature. Которая ваша природа. Неизменная. Yes, please. Hey, door. Your mother. Hey, door. That means goodbye. Bye-bye. Do you Yes, um, like a week ago, I was watching the satsang where you make question answers and with Robert, among others. Mm. Where did you watch it? On my telephone. Yeah. Ah, on okay. the telephone. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and it's amazing that in the end you, you looked into the camera. And it's amazing that power of tremendous power can come out of this small thing. The radiation of the Sadhguru can be felt all over, also when you are not in immediate presence. Yes. Like the, the wave of a radio station can be heard all over the globe. If you attune. You don't need to be in the same city. Listen to it in the United States, or in Russia, or in Sweden, or in Russia, or in Sweden, with the radio like this, and now even more with the internet. Likewise, the silent vibration of the Guru can be perceived. And just after that, I read something that uh, Siddha Rameshwar said. What did he say? He said, you cannot lose yourself even if you try. That. And that which you feel you are losing is not you. То, что вы чувствуете, что вы теряете, это не вы. And in that precise moment, I mean, you said that many times before, but in that precise moment, it just like, that's true. Что вы говорили это много раз, я слышал, но именно в этот момент я понял, что это да, это истина. 
this silence that I am has always been here. And it's, it never changes. Sometimes I pretend I forget it. You never forgot to forget it? <laughs> you never forgot to forget it? I don't get it. Sometimes I forget that, that which cannot be forgotten. Because it's the mind again that tries to look for peace instead of directly focusing that I'm already here. Yeah. Yes. The freedom of ignorance. <laughs> the freedom to be ignorant. Humans were fighting for. Again, I don't get it. <laughs> you mean like that's a good thing or? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the ignorance of not having to know anything? I mean, right now, I'm in this state where there is this sensation I have lost that immediate peace. I mean, it's very peaceful, but that direct recognition that it comes and goes in this last week, and right now it's not there. Who is, who is judging all that? Mind. It pretends it wants to help. Has it been helpful? Well, now you have some experience after some decades of life. Yeah. Has mind be helpful in this quest? No, именно в этом вопросе полезен ли он? Only when I use it to direct it back to myself with who am I? Когда я направляю его на истинное я, да. If I do it intensely and over and over again, then all of a sudden it's like, Dum. and then I don't need to ask because then I'm only with myself. Yeah. Yeah.
where we met first time some 15 years ago? No, 18 years ago. This summer it will be 19 years ago. So 19 years ago, love was here. Love. And now, also love is here. Let this be your practice now. Instead of looking for states and leaving states. It means hello. Hmm? Yes. Yeah, I started with hey, dog means goodbye. Yeah. Now I say hey. Yes. I have read that there are uh, two kind of paths. Uh, one, one path uh, for people who want to be like a sugar, like a, like a sun to other people. And, and uh, <coughs> other ways is to People who wants to taste the sugar. So, uh, Advaita for me is like for for first, yes, first path. Uh, so, in this perspective, uh, I don't get it. If uh, uh, how Advaita responds for these questions. Is it uh, uh, is it a mistake, some mind mistake, that second path is available or not? Because it's like uh, you said, it's like a dividence from the God, second path, yeah? So my question is, uh, is second path also available? In, uh, in perspective for Advaita, or it is uh, like a mistake. Advaita means the end of each path. The true Advaita is the end of each path. So the individual Seeker might choose a path which is suitable for him. Which is and then through his practice comes to a point where he is right to stop this path and to realize that which has been always here already. Когда он достаточно созревает, уже не 
чтобы прекратить этот путь. Он больше не нуждается ни в каком пути. Учителя говорят о всяких путях, а дня они не говорят о путях. Потому что учителя они не знают. So stop any path and be. Какой бы ты ни был путь, просто будьте. Sweetness. Тогда возникает. The sugarness. Сладость. Is right here. Она здесь. And how it manifests, you don't care if it's for other people or not. И вам, в общем, не беспокойтесь о том, как это для других людей. Окей, let me a little bit clarify. Я немножко проясню. First of all, from whom is this quote which you speak about? I never heard this. Кто о чем вы говорите? Who said? Who speaks about these two parts? Кто говорит об этих двух дорогах? I don't remember. Я не помню. Uh, but uh, when I speak to Krishna devotees, they say that Advaita, from their perspective, uh, not, uh, it's not full real realization because it's uh, like a temporary, uh, temporary being and then the soul has to return to earth again because they said that uh, uh, real realization is to be love with Krishna and to uh, to get to higher locus and be in love with Krishna and play with him and I like it more than just you know just to dissolve in some therefore, therefore this path is attractive for you and attractive to you you cherish that But how can I understand which path is the the highest? Because I guess from Advaita perspective, uh, they are mistaken. Your innermost being, your innermost beingness is Krishna itself. There you might dance, yes. You are that itself. It's the formless Krishna. It's the formless joy. What you speak about is the manifestive form of Krishna. Where you can play and dance mm -hmm. and enjoy. So, as I say, Krishna is also a jnani, but he is an enjoyer of the senses. Наслаждается удовольствием всей жизни. Он любит девушек. Он любит танцевать. В этом нет ничего плохого. Nevertheless, the knowledge or the beingness, absolute beingness, understanding who is, is in Krishna. Но при этом он понимает, у него есть абсолютное понимание того, что есть. Бхагаван, also Jani, different manifestation. Essence the same, but he's not dancing outwardly. He's not playing with the girls. And so on. But the understanding, the knowledge, same. So the manifestation can be different, 
И проявляться это может как угодно по-разному. And according to the rightness of the sadak, of the searcher, the seeker, there might be also still a path useful. Какие-то дороги, какие-то пути, и выбор пути может быть полезен. Okay, thank you. I, I will little bit meditate on your words. Very <laughs> good. Yes, please. Actually, my questions here is not uh, active, but uh, just like a fake, just like a host yeah. somewhere in a field. My questions are not so active, they are clear, they are a little bit more active, they are I will speak Russian. <laughs> С тех пор, как я открыла для себя истинную природу себя, since I found my true nature, I, since I found my true nature for myself, и чем больше я утверждаюсь в ней, more I been self affirmed in it, тем больше приходит понимание, что я знаю это с самого самого детства. Uh, there is an understanding there that I know it since my childhood. From very, very childhood. Yeah, yeah. And um, many feelings appear at once. How can I forget it? <laughs> uh, at, uh, at once uh, there is a, just like a painting of how uh, all this lila, it, uh, lila appears in a world, how it plays. But uh, my question is, can you um, explain the role of guru and someone or somewhat that can explain that you are that and don't and value it from the very very moment and honor it from the very moment? Может ли вы объясните, сказать о роли гуру или того, кто может объяснить и указать на то, что вы есть то? The Guru enlightens you about the fact that you are freedom itself and that you have been always freedom. Guru посвящает вам вас о том, что вы уже свободны, вы сама свобода, и вы всегда были свободны. He holds also a light for you, so your darkness gets expelled. Чтобы ваша темнота So you grasp this, or as you say, get more and more affirmed in this understanding. Если вы это поняли и становитесь все более и более больше утверждены в этом да, понимании, and the guru is happy. And тогда гуру счастлив, вы счастливы. Uh, my 
can be related to the first question. Uh, I never was a seeker, and I don't know, don't know nothing about this Kundalini Shakta, about the Nishnaya Shakti. Not necessary. I have said already that in this there But this recognition uh, for me is uh, very sacred and innocent. And very important, the sacredness and your appreciation and your valuation. Поэтому так относитесь, что вы это цените и читаете. Это очень важно. Очень важно. Высоко ценили то, что священно. По аналогии можно сказать, что гуру дает вам драгоценный камень, и вы должны относиться к нему соответственно. But all uh, systems of this, uh, I don't know, body mind set also uh, register it as a mm, orgasmic pleasure <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes here some addiction appears and it is like a mist yeah. like yeah. a mist and sometimes I can understand if I am just am or that is a way of a mind who is wanting this pleasure and this fitness yeah. and You, you enjoy it, you enjoy this ecstasy, you enjoy the ecstasy, you are the ecstasy, and you stay attentive. Even in ecstasy, you stay attentive. It, it's not easy, uh, sometimes it is not easy, it's just like uh, mist, and uh, I can't uh, control myself, everything uh, comes by itself. Yeah. So I have only to, uh, to let it be like that. <laughs> Fine. You know. Many would love to be troubled by ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, sometimes it, it leads me to the um, uh, feeling that um, my body is just like a cage for the soul, yeah. for the spirit, yeah. and it's a very strong uh, uh, yeah. desire to get rid of it. Uh, uh, in the uh, once even I had an experience that it, it, at uh, that moment when I realized that very strong energy comes and very with um, uh, pleasure and everything that I even um, uh, tied my feet and uh, uh, and hands <laughs> nothing happened to body. Ничего не надо делать с этими опытами. As I said, it is not active here in Tiruvannamalai. It became more just like just like melt in in the ocean, just like ice melt in the ocean. Тиммалай не такие, это поспокойнее стало, видимо, как будто лед растворяется, тает в воде. Это похоже. So everything, everything just over, just melt, just disappear. Все растворяется. What happens if you put a cube of sugar in the ocean? What happens? Что произойдет, если кусочек сахара бросить в океан? Yeah. Ну, 
вырастает, растворится. Oneness. Будет единство. Om Tat Sat Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti Shanti Shanti